How you doing? Sit down, pull up your chair, take a load off. Beautiful day, ain't it? Well, this is what Sunday is all about for me. You couldn't buy a better day today than if you had a million bucks. About 75 degrees and nice breeze, sunny. Got coolers packed. I'm gonna grill some burgers later on towards the evening. Just gonna take it easy today. Yards all mowed, mowed weeds down out back with the tractor. Probably take a walk around the garden, see what's going on out there. Gonna have to be cutting some uh, broccoli here soon before it goes to flower. I don't know why it's going to head so quick. Kohlrabi, that's getting bigger. Some of that's about ready to pick too. Cabbages are doing good. He's starting to make heads. Potatoes are popping up good. Tomatoes, they survived all the wind we got. We got probably three, four German pinks, three, four bloody butchers. Trophy mortgage lifters. Sun sugar, brandy wine. This is a new one, Old Brooks. Uh, let's try out some different stuff. Sweet treats. I don't know what that is. Cauliflower is starting to make heads already, too. They ain't very big plants, but might have been in the greenhouse too dang long. It was so wet and cold here this spring that. Couldn't get the stuff out like we normally do. Some peas are starting to flower. What kind we got here? What's that say? Green Arrow. They do about the best around here. I can't even read that one. I need my glasses. Getting old sucks. Sugar snaps. Grapes, they're really coming on good. Jesus, this is in the last week. They've really put on a bunch. Corn, it's getting up there 10 inches tall, so. Hoping for a good sweet corn crop again. Just checking the compost pile this morning. We just kind of pile our crap and stuff in here. I don't take much care of it but down in there it's pretty good looking stuff I should probably come out here with a pitchfork and turn that but not today that sounds like work I think I'll just go sit under the shade tree and watch the day that sounds like the best idea not a creature stirring around here today that's the way I like it. Well, that's a squeaky door, ain't it? We got a couple of tomatoes. I was thinking these were cherry tomatoes, but I think that one there, I don't know what that is. That one's a black crim. We got another one of those out in the garden. And I don't remember what that one is either. It might be a bloody butcher, but it's getting tomatoes on it already in the greenhouse. We're just going to leave them in here I think see if we can force them this year normally we don't get tomatoes till middle of July around here in our neck of the woods and so we thought maybe we'd see if we couldn't get some going a little earlier those black crims those are good if you can get over the color of them they, ain't, they aren't red they're almost black but boy they got a good flavor You know, it's funny, that whole shed, little shed there that I built, that's full of gas-powered equipment. But sometimes, them two old rusty old things that we've had for years, 
that's just as easy and does a better job than anything. You can go as fast as you can walk. Don't take no gas neither. Go figure. Finally got some gumption yesterday morning and shoveled up all them flattened tin cans that were laying out here on this old slab. It would have been enough to fill an eight foot pickup box about level full. Man, what a dusty, dirty mess. I had a hole over some ground 20 miles from here that I dug some fill out of and went over there and dumped them in the hole and buried them. Didn't find any treasures in there. Just a few hinges. I can oil them up, use them. And, oh, I don't know if anybody wants uh, 1,045 hours of free AOL or not, but that was in there. I don't think the disc is in there. Can't get it open, it's rusted shut. No treasures in that. Last fall I threw about two dozen acorns off of a white oak tree in this old wash tub. And just kind of forgot about them. But I, uh, see I got one of them that took. I don't see any more coming, just a few weeds. I don't know, I haven't watered it or anything. I just kind of threw them in there and forgot about it over the winter and this spring. And, one of them's coming along, about six inches tall already. I guess it wasn't a complete failed experiment, but I was hoping for better. What the heck. Had some new additions here this week. Old hen hatched out about 14 of them. He had about six eggs that didn't hatch, so I just pitched them, I guess. Oh well, next winter's supper, huh? They're cute little guys, though. We've been getting some pretty good winds here lately. I come out the other night and I see I got one tab blow it off. So I gotta crawl up there and replace a shingle. Why's it always gotta be one that's either under the cap or the ridge? It can't just never be one easy, you know. Come on, dang it. Grow, pumpkins. Get a move on.